very happy to have you all here today and we're excited to have this conversation about the significance and importance of Black History Month with you all. So what was it like to be black at UK when you all were students? When I was on campus, uh, I was a hard worker. It was fun. I had a great sense of community. Within our college, uh, the very first student organization that I joined was Manners. And I stuck with that from the first day till graduation and uh, really finding those pockets uh, where I felt like I belong and having that sense of community. But what made it really special was the relationships that I built um, with uh, advisors and with other students uh, who are still some of my closest friends to the t until today. Um, but having the spaces where I felt like I belonged made it special. So I had a good experience here. I just thought about how when we were students, um, as a black community, we bonded together. And if it was things that we wanted to advocate about, we advocated together. And so I love to see students coming together and advocate because I think now administration really want to hear the voices of students. And they really want to see what students want. But I think sometimes students don't know how to advocate. And it, it's important for us to come together to be able to advocate as a whole in order to make, sh to, in order to truly make things move. So that we can support students when they're like, here's what we want to see. We like, we want to take this. Y'all have the support and we're here to support students um, when they see those things and want to do something. So what changes have you all seen since you were students? We didn't have like the LGBTQ resource office. I don't remember there being a specific space for first gen students. There may have been, it might have been connected with another office, but now it's like its own space. Like there's so many different resources that for me, even thinking about it is overwhelming, but it's nice to see those changes happen, um, to know that students who might have a certain identity, um, they have a place to go if they need a resource and so. I know um, diversity, equity, and inclusion is a hot topic um, nationally, but I will say here at the university, I am very appreciative that Dr. Capilouto has truly created work streams in order to um, tackle a lot of these large initiatives that really need to be changed here at the University of Kentucky. And so I, I'm hopeful with the work that's being done. It is a lot of work. Um, it is challenging work, um, but it's work that needs to be done. And so I will say a lot of changes have been made around diversity, equity, and inclusion. Now, do we have challenges that still need to be faced? Absolutely, there's a lot of challenges, but you can only do so much um, within, so, uh, within a certain amount of time. But I will say um, the work that is being done is definitely being noticed and needed. Being a land-grant institution, it's very important for us to understand the past, the present, and understanding how we are going to navigate to the future. Celebrating it, right, not only during February but throughout the year is a way to connect to our students who hold those identities within our college to, to show the support that we have and not only uh, showcasing the unsung heroes but um, sharing kind of where they fit within the space of ag, which I think is important for them. What are ways that the college could extend awareness um, and celebration and inclusivity um, year round after Black History Month has passed? Right now we're looking at how do we infuse diversity, equity, and inclusion into our curriculum. And so what I always say is students can't be who they do not see. And so I think it's important for us to make sure that we are infusing um, black leaders, um, black folks in the community into our curriculum so that they can see that they can be who these leaders are in the community. So I do just want to acknowledge that those things are happening and they're student led. And so I think um, for us to continue to progress as a college, uh, allowing the space for students to have those conversations, connect with folks inside and outside of our college um, to create the futures that they want is important. So I, I have to shout out the students in our college. So what are some um, goals or visions that you have for black faculty, students, and staff within the College of Agriculture? We're looking at recruitment and retention of students, faculty, and staff. Um, we are looking at um, awareness around diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility. We are also looking at infusion of curriculum um, of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and then also looking at how do we um, make sure that we are engaging with our internal and external stakeholders and partners. And so that is truly going to be the guiding force 
of the work that we do in our office. And so I'm very excited about that um, because we have our diversity advisory council um, and our diversity representatives who are working together on four different work streams in order to do the work within the college. And so I think it's important to have these groups to facilitate the work, but also they are in these departments in the classroom doing the work. And so it's important for them to come forth in you know the opportunities for growth in a college so that we can make sure that we are doing what is truly needed. Do you have any final messages to add as uh, leaders within the College of Agriculture? It's going to get uncomfortable sometimes, but lean into that discomfort because when we all lean into it, we all can learn a little bit more um, from each other and we all can grow a little bit better. And so lean into it, show up and lean in. Yes, the Office of Diversity is here as a resource and it's gonna take all of us to do the work. And so, um, as Kendriana alluded to, it will be uncomfortable at times, but in order for us to move forward and to change the narrative and to change the culture of our college, we're gonna to have to work together. And it takes a collective whole.